Eight. I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN. Week 11 of the NFL on ESPN is coming your way. And we can just about see the playoffs coming over the horizon. We should have a pretty good one here, as we've got a couple of teams in action that are in dire need of a W. Cleveland Browns, Jacksonville Jaguars, next. Welcome to All Tell Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Marcus Stroud is regularly referred to as the best defensive lineman in all of the NFL. He fills gaps, and he's a fantastic tackler. When running backs are in his reach, he just swallows them up. You run into his arms, it's like hitting a brick wall. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Gerard Warren is an imposing defensive end. He... <laughs> Taylor will get stopped at the line, and that brings up first down. Leftwich throws a bullet and it's caught at the 46. Hunted down at the 38. That and they go to nickel. The chance catches at left sideline and these still associate receivers with speed. But right here, height was what did it. Taylor will get the handoff and run. Thompson gets the sack way back at the 16. That is wisely loaded up on DBs. Leftwich rifles this one to the end zone, and it's tipped. Scobie kicks it from 33 yards. They take the lead. Number three lines up to punt after the three and out. Number three takes the long snap and punts it away. Azuma fields the punt at the 41. The 40... He's in for the touchdown. Yeah. Leftwich dumps it out left, and it's intercepted. <laughs> Tackled at the 31. Garcia fires this one over the middle, and he connects at the 16. the fast ball over the middle and he's in for the score. <laughs> Leftwich throws a bullet to the flat and the ball is caught at the 26. Eventually runs up. Williams reels in the football and is well past the markers. Leftwich zips it to the left sideline and it's intercepted. Dragged down at the 48. Green takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 45. Northcutt makes the catch on the right sideline and is at the 25. at the six. Garcia dumps this one to the flat and they can't connect. Green carries it for the sixth time and game. Garcia lobs this to the end zone and it's tipped. Incomplete. Dawson from 20 yards and it's good. Right there. Down and make the throw. Hansen lines up for the punt. Hansen takes the snap and kicks what will be a short one. The Browns let it bounce offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive. Slides down at the 26. Final 
Finally gets out of bounds at the 40. Holding. Number 65. Off and Anderson sacks him way back at the nine. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Hayes brings down the lob left side and has some room to run. 30, 25, finally stopped at the 16. First down. Tackle so far. Holcomb lobs this one deep to the end zone, and it's cut for the score. Oh, yeah, baby. I like the go. Taylor gets the call on first down and heads out right. One man to beat. Swapped down hard at the 43. It... Leftwich throws a heater, and the reception's made at the 36. The best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susan. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Taylor will get the carry on second down, and heads wide right. Leftwich really rifles this pass, and it's caught up. Taylor has his number called on second down and gets in for the score. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dano, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Let's take a look at the numbers from our first half, and you see red zone offense, as is often the case, has played a big role thus far. The Jaguars are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Fred Taylor has taken over this game. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Green punches this one left of center and chews up about four on the play. Green carries it for the 12th time and searches for a hole. Spike. Morgan pulls down the floater out left and they... Green has his number called on first down and will gain close to six. Che grabs the rope right side and he's looking for room. Five and touchdown. Williams grabs the bullet and the ball's loose. Dragged down at the 46. Garcia fires this one over the middle and the ball's loose. The Jaguars have it. Locked down at the 27. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Number three gets the ball and punts it away. Azuma fields the punt at the 24. Tackled at the 42. Taylor is at the 45, 30, 25, hunted down at the 21. Edwards catches it over the middle and they get the first on third and Williams goes in motion. Leftwich throws a heater right sideline and it's caught for a touchdown. Slides down at the 42. Green catches it in the flat, and that's good for a gain of five. Garcia dumps it out left, and it's caught at the 40. Morgan catches the bullet out left. And 
He's going the wrong way. Gets out at the 18. Origami artist. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Green gets the ball. He's not made much headway up the middle, although it's not for lack of trying, and that's for sure. They can't get a three. Cut. Touchdown. Smith catches this one and... Leftwich sings it to the right side and it's intercepted. Stopped at the 42. Number three takes the snap and punts it away. Azuma feels the punt at the 18. It's farther in that situation. Leftwich throws a beauty to the right side and it's intercepted. Breaks free. Jukes, another move, runs out of bounds. my partner, Peter O'Keefe. This is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Browns stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Jeff Garcia is standing by with our Susie Calvin. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really came up big, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? I have to give a lot of credit to our offensive line. Those guys often get overlooked, and they bring in every single game. I think that their hustle was a big part of us coming out on top. Back to you, Chris. I'm Chris Berman, and that concludes our broadcast of the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Take care. We'll see you next time.